Today, we are making one of your requests. That's right, people, I read every single comment. You should know this by now. And there was a beautiful comment left by, apologies for pronunciation, but YouTube handles can be a challenge. Barack, thank you so much for your suggestion for a healthy burrito recipe. Now this is a healthy breakfast burrito. There are quite a few components, but hopefully this will inspire you next time you have a little cheeky weekend and fancy knocking up something super tasty without the guilt. Yeah? All right then, guys. Our first element, and that needs to happen quite quickly so they get enough cooking time, is I've just got some sweet potato here. Just one sweet potato is enough between two people. I've chopped that into little centimeter square cubes. We're gonna drizzle that with some olive oil. Give that a good toss through. Oh, it's one really excitable one there. We're then gonna chuck on a generous grind of pepper, a generous grind of salt, and we're also gonna go in there with some cumin. Really nice flavor on sweet potato. Brings out the earthiness. That is a word I haven't used for ages, but I use way too often. Give that a really good rub around, make sure it's nicely coated. And then this is going to go into a 200 degrees oven for 15 minutes. That way they're gonna get nice and soft and get a little bit of color on the outside as well. We're gonna crack on with our next step, which is going to be our black beans. Now, you can use kidney beans, you can use chickpeas, you can use black eyed beans, you calm down over there. Let's jazz up the flavor of that though. So we've got a pan on the heat, and then into that, I've got one red onion here, and I've just cut them into half moons, and they're gonna go straight into our pan. So I'm gonna let them catch a little bit of color to begin with and then we're going to hit them with some salt now the salt is going to help to sweat them out it's going to help them to soften but once your onions have softened we're going to go in there with a clove of garlic it's got a lot of sugars in it natural sugars so garlic catches very quickly but it also changes state and flavor very easily too so when you cut it like this and if you let it soften in the pan rather than kind of fry you're going to end up with a beautiful sweetness running through your black beans which is going to be great I'm going to give this the time they need because I really do want those to soften down into lovely, sumptuous little like... That word. <laughs> Soft. Ribbons. So whilst those are softening down, we'll be adding our beans shortly, but we're going to do a bit of smashed avocado. Avocado. I'm going to run the knife through. Give it a twist and you're just going to pull the pip out and you're just going to spoon that out onto a nice clean surface. Now I've only been chopping onions on this and seeing as that's a flavour that's also going to go into our avocado mix then. Grab yourself a lemon, squeeze your lemon over the top of it. Beautiful. Now what this is also going to do is stop your avocado from going brown. Oh, I've got a cut. I'm sorry Ruth, I've got a cut on my finger. We're gonna go on with some salt. You're gonna crush it ooh, with your fork. Now this is when you hope and pray that you have a lovely ripe avocado. Smash it into those juices. Look at that color come alive. A bit of pepper. Just check the time. Yes, I'm wearing jeans with a dress. <laughs> you don't see my lower half, what does it matter? That's perfect, that's ready to go. How are our onions doing? Oh, looking really nice. We're gonna crank up the heat and we're gonna throw in our black beans. Not trying to turn everything into baby food, but you just wanna kind of break it up a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of water into that and it's gonna basically kind of almost make its own beanie gravy, which I just like. I don't like a dry burrito, I like it to be nice and saucy. Now I'm gonna serve mine up with some eggs. If you are, however, vegan or you just don't like eggs, then another addition that is lovely is just some lovely oven roasted tomatoes. That'd be beautiful to add an extra dimension of flavor to this. How are our sweet potatoes looking? Phenomenal, okay. Look at those colors, beautifully roasting, starting to shrivel, which means we know we're getting them gorgeously soft. We're gonna do some really simple scrambled eggs. You know what, and I'm gonna be honest and do it how I would do it in the morning, which is to use my avocado fork because everything's going in the same thing. Now I'm gonna cook these scrambled eggs against my general belief of how scrambled eggs should be. 
So normally I would cook scrambled eggs super slowly. I don't like, I like to take my time with scrambled eggs. In fact, if you want to see how I cook scrambled eggs, hit that link up there and you'll see they're almost like custard. For this one, we're going to hit them a little bit quick and we're going to turn them into almost ribbons of egg rather than anything else. Into our eggs to add another layer of flavour, I'm going to add in some fresh red chilli, which I'm excited about because I'm getting so much better with heat these days. Make sure you season your eggs before they go in. We're going to go in with some salt, season with pepper at the end because otherwise it can change the colour and make your eggs look a bit grey. And then let's go in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be moving those eggs, but we're going to move them in big strokes. So what you're going to end up with is ribbons of egg. And as soon as you start to see your eggs are cooking quite quickly, I'm actually going to take them straight off. We're going to throw in our chilli, we're going to throw in our pepper, and then we're going to assemble, okay? Now they're not fully done, but nothing worse than overdone eggs. So we're going to warm up our wraps, but we're actually going to warm them straight on the hob. Now, I promise, this hob is clean. <laughs> yeah! Finish off our black beans. We're just going to chop in some coriander. A bit of colour. Get that colour in. Perfect, delicious. Yes, there's a few parts to it, but every single part is super, super easy. Little mini labour of love. Breakfast burrito. Please keep your recipe suggestions coming in the comments box below. If you want to see more from me, why not subscribe? I'm here every single Tuesday and I vlog on a Friday. And if you, I mean, that's all the call to actions I really need you to do. So uh, yeah, until next time. Thanks guys, bye.